general manager, Neil Huntington, has said that Jay Phil was very enthusiastic about the idea of uh, being their left-handed hitting first baseman. They like um, Jay Phil's athleticism. They like his bat first and foremost, and they, they're really excited about what he's going to do in that lineup. I'm Darwin Zook with the MLB.com FastCast. On Wednesday, the Pirates signed free agent John Jaso to a two-year deal. Even though he's only logged five major league innings at first base, the converted catcher is expected to start at first against right-handed pitchers. The 32-year-old hit 286 over 70 games with the Tampa Bay Rays in 2015. The Orioles announced on Wednesday they've agreed to sign Korean outfielder Hyun Soo Kim. The 27-year-old just reached free agency after nine seasons with the KBO's Doosan Bears. Last season, he hit 326 with a career-best 28 home runs and 121 runs batted in. Kim discusses his opportunity. He's just very happy that he is now a major leaguer and can play for Baltimore Orioles. And also, of course, he's very excited right now. But more importantly, he thinks that it's important to um, practice for, for the upcoming season. So he's just very excited right now. In addition to lots of big names signing in free agency, there are also rumored trades that could be on the horizon. MLB.com analyst Jim Duquette discusses some potential trades that he thinks could make sense this offseason. Jay Bruce is a guy that still has a lot of value out there. And if you start to look at some of those uh, outfielders on the free agent market and the expense, there is a team for me that fits perfectly with Jay Bruce. And that's the Kansas City Royals. And I think with Tampa, Jay Cody really is the guy that seems to make the most sense. Uh, when you look at his age, the, the years of control, you got him for four years. He's a middle of the rotation type guy that some people can see being an upper the middle, upper rotation type starter. The, the Dodgers certainly can use Odorizzi. They know, they know him well because Andrew Friedman stays there. Andrew Friedman had traded for him in Tampa. The Rays need position player depth and, and uh, inexpensive talent. But I think there's a match there somehow. For more on these stories and the very latest hot stove activity, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.